there is no arguing that the poorly lit rooms and seemingly endless tunnels in the basement are some of the most confusing areas of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. Unless you know the layouts of these maze-like corridors, it can be extremely challenging to know where each basement exit is located, which could ultimately lead to a quick death and embarrassing loss. So let's break down the layout of each map and become a true master of escaping the basement. Similar to how the basement is confusing to navigate, it also can be complicated to learn. With a combination of tunnels and rooms all stacked on top of each other, it's not just as simple as learning the names of each area. We also need to learn the spawns of the victims and Leatherface, plus the location of each exit. To make it as easy to understand as possible, we're going to take a look at each room in order of their function and location to each exit. By the end of this guide, you will have an in-depth understanding of each basement layout and will better your chances of winning. Starting off with the iconic family house, let's take a look at its basement. First off, a great big thank you to Reddit user 0x2c28 for creating these awesome looking maps and allowing me to share them with the YouTube community. They're absolutely essential to making this guide possible. Now, let's start off with Leatherface's lair. It is centrally located in the layout of the basement and contains the exit door to the central staircase. The staircase will lead you straight to the red room and the main hallway of the house. Even though Leatherface himself usually spawns in his lair, the family house map is the one exception. Leatherface spawns in the basement storage which is in the next room over. He begins the match guarding the rear staircase exit that leads to the den. Now that we know where Leatherface begins the match, let's take a look at the victim spawns. The victim spawn points are located in the south cell, cold room, the north cell, and the kennels. Victims can also potentially spawn in Leatherface's lair as well. Both the south cell and the cold storage room lead to the cold room corridor. This tunnel is located very close to the side garden tunnel and the well exit that lies just beyond the locked door. The north cell and kennels lead directly into the lair corridors. And similar to the victim spawn point in Leatherface's lair, these spawns are equally distant from both the central staircase and the rear porch stairs that lead to the back porch. Another very close exit to these spawn points is located in the blood bath room. This ladder will lead you straight up to the gore room of the house. And even though they don't contain exits, the west tunnel, north tunnel, and the east tunnel, which contains the fuse box escape, are all essential areas when it comes to strategic navigation and hiding from the killers. This is the complete layout for the basement of the family house. Next, let's take a look at the slaughterhouse. Filled with tighter rooms and hallways, this basement can feel much more like a maze compared to the family house. Starting with Leatherface's lair, it is located to the left side of the basement, with the big guy himself spawning here as well. Leatherface does not spawn near an exit door on this map, Instead, he begins the match near one of the pressure tank spawns. When playing a victim, you will spawn either in the west cell, bone room, the cold room, workshop, or the east cell. The west cell leads into the west and northwest tunnels that will take you to the north storage exit. This exit will lead players straight up to the cattle chute. The bone room will spawn players very close to both the staircase exit leading to the holding pin and the fuse box room. For the cold room, players will be right next to the tool storage exit that leads straight to the center of the map. Another noteworthy room located near the spawn is the pump room. This is where another pressure pump spawn is located.
Lastly, we have the Workshop and East Cell spawns. Both these spawns will lead players through the furnace room and to the garage exit. The furnace room is also the last area where the pressure pump can be located. Additional tunnels used for navigating the basement are the central tunnel, the furnace room tunnel, and the south tunnel. Use these areas along with the vents and gaps to efficiently move throughout the rooms of the slaughterhouse basement. Finally, let's check out the gas station. Leatherface's lair is located to the upper portion of the basement, along with Leatherface's spawn. Victims will spawn in the North Tunnel, East Tunnel, West Cell, and the South Tunnel. The Central North Tunnel spawn is located right next to the fuse box exit. The other North Tunnel spawn leads directly to the house basement exit, which will take players to the house hallway. The east cell is positioned right near the thicket tunnel and its corresponding ladder exit. The west cell spawn leads right into the basement shed. Here is where the storage shed exit is located. Lastly, the south tunnel is the closest spawn to the car park storage exit that leads right into the workshop. And here is the complete layout of the gas station basement. You may have not been born in the darkness, but you now have the knowledge to adopt it and start moving across these areas with ease and efficiency. But as a victim, once you get above ground, it's important to know how to truly escape this deranged family. Click the video on your screen to learn all about some of the easiest escapes on all three maps of the game. I appreciate you for sticking around, and thanks for watching.